Good morning. This is Mathieu, and I hope you're doing well today. So today, we'll talk about uh, the seat options on the veteran links. So uh, installed right now, I have the EUC Crazy seat, which is a uh, very high quality but expensive. I have uh, two much cheaper option here. These are simply AliExpress cheap backrest seat, but I can put a lot of force and I think this is about the perfect stiffness of seat. This is one model and there is another model with which is a, a little bit thinner but larger about the same uh, softness I, I put a lot of force right now but we'll test that uh, in a minute both of the seats i simply uh, stick velcro on the rear you see the euc crazy seat is uh, working with clamps that means that you can't use uh, the trolley handle you need to lift the seat first then you have access that's not a big deal for most people but a uh, little annoyance for me and as for the thickness of AUC crazy seat this is a complaint I have it is very very stiff for my taste so I talked to the seller of uh, AUC crazy and what it told me is that the reason that he sell his uh, seat this stiff, he told me that is uh, for having more control when carving while seated. This could be a good argument, but uh, on my under seat, on my Sherman S, here a uh, little picture, you can see uh, you have pretty good control and a huge comfort. We are right now on a private road, so I will do about 3 kilometers on each of the seats and uh, tell you my initial feelings. Before I start, I will do some measurement. So the EUC crazy seat is 10 inch by 6 inch, 2 inch and a half. Now for the smaller of the, the seats, 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Here is a 13 at the narrowest point and 6 centimeters. Note that uh, the absolute maximum that you will want the length uh, seat, the width, I will not uh, go over 17 centimeters so the absolute maximum you can go for a seat uh, for the links if you want to use the trolley handle do not go longer than this so this is the maximum you can go so this is 19 centimeters by 16 centimeters this is about by 5 centimeters and four and a half but uh, one advantage with this seat is that you can uh, open it and change the foam if you need it very easily just like that super easy with the long seat now uh, what I do is I get the trolley and all just a little bit out so I put it like this and here we go just to be sure that it clears and as you can see it doesn't hide the display now the smaller seat will do the same thing like that and if you want a little bit smaller seat there it is all the links will be in the description so no interference with the trolley and doll here for reference of the size and EUC crazy 
So I'll remove that for now and go for a little test ride with each of them. So let's go with the AUC Crazy. So riding position is about like this. A little, a little bit canted forward. So what about the braking? Of course I'm not the best at this at all and I'm holding uh, the camera which limits a lot of my braking abilities but let's do a transition from stand standing and sitting very easy No problem at all. So, uh, look at how hard the, the foam in the seat is. It's not even uh, compressing. But this, it is true that it is more responsive than a soft seat. But anyway, I think when I'm riding seated, that this is not for uh, some uh, sport riding. When I'm seated, this is for relaxing and rest a little bit my legs after a long ride. So I don't mind having a soft seat, but if you like riding seated, making turns, this is a great seat for that. But I will prefer a softer seat, a lot softer, like my under seat under Shermanist. We'll do a little acceleration. Here we go. 40 kilometers per hour. Easy. Some carving. Here we go. Yes, the seat is uh, pretty responsive for uh, some carving seated. The center has a point, this is true, you can uh, do some turning while seated. But as the initial impressions of the comfort, I think that on longer rides I will have a sour butt. Even, uh, it's not even 5 minutes and I can feel uh, that the hard seat is pressing on my butt bones. But the seller has told me that it could uh, soften with time. We'll see. Okay, now I will remove the EUC crazy seat. One thing is well thought is uh, you can remove like this by pulling on it and leaving uh, the clamp exposed. You can turn them like this. And... Uh, so you can uh, remove completely the seat very fast if you want to do some trail riding and don't want to damage your beautiful seat. Let's take a look. I think uh, this is a beautiful seat, very well made. A lot of attention to detail. But very hard uh, there i'm pressing very hard yes! and it it don't even compress so now re remove this and we're gonna slap this seat on so taking handle out making it centered here we go and going for another ride First impression, you can feel that the, the seat is uh, smaller, is shorter, but immediately you can feel the seat is a lot softer. Just about the perfect softness. Of course, I would like to have a, a little bit thicker seat. And if you don't expect to ride more than 15 minutes at a time, this could be a great option, especially for the price. 
So braking. Okay. Do you see what what happens now? The seat is not long enough. So my butt is coming off of the seat, but I can use the handle to help me braking like that. And as for carving, whoa, no problem. Uh, the, the camera threw me off uh, balance, but uh, no problem for carving, transitioning from standing to sitting. It is a little bit lower, so braking does the job, accelerating, no problem either. So sitting like on this seat for me is uh, very comfortable. When I stop, I can immediately take the handle with no seat in the way. But of course, it does not look as good in my opinion. But look is uh, personal. So we are gonna remove this one. Very simple to remove. And gonna put the last one, the smallest of the three. And go for a test ride. So the first thing we feel is the how small the seat is. Maybe too small. If we want to brake. Okay, that do it. Acceleration. Okay, not, not as bad as I was thinking. Comfort. It, uh, it is a little bit thicker than the other seat from AliExpress. Standing to seating, transitioning. Here we go. Very easy. I think th this could be uh, working for uh, smaller people, but I would not recommend it uh, for bigger people, as you don't have a lot of space to move on. But uh, carving. Is doing well. U turn. Here we go. Breaking again. I can push myself with the, the rear handle like this to help me breaking. Could not do that with the EUC crazy. Acceleration. No problem. So I think this is the most comfortable seat of the tree. But it is a, a little small for my taste. I will probably keep the medium seat of the tree and try to sell the EUC crazy seat. Even if I think this is a beautiful seat, uh, this is not soft enough for me. But maybe for EVR people, this will be fine. Now let's talk about the price of each of these. These two are from AliExpress. This one is $11 Canadian, shipping from China. And this one is $17. And this one, I paid $280 Canadian. And when I received that my door, I had to pay 30 more dollars. So total $310 for this seat. This is a lot of money. Of course, this is a very high quality, uh, everything, a lot of attention to detail. So that's it. That was uh, my that was my first <laughs> that was my first impression of uh, many seats that would help you buy the right seat for you so thank you for watching and subscribe